Okay, so here we have our plant cell. You notice that first off, the shape of the plant cell is different from the shape of the animal cell. It's more square or rectangular. That has to do with the cell wall that is around the cell. Animal cells don't have a cell wall, they just have the plasma membrane, whereas a plant cell has the same plasma membrane, but then it has the additional cell wall around the cell that you see here. Inside, probably the first thing you'll notice is that this majority of the cell is taken up by this giant thing that you see here, and this is called the central vacuole. Uh, over here you have the same nucleus that we saw before, nucleus, nucleolus, chromatin, DNA, and nuclear envelope, nuclear pores, all of that is still the same. Also the same is the rough endoplasmic reticulum that you see here with the ribosomes on it. Uh, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the mitochondria, are the same as we saw in the animal cell. So those are your mitochondria. Your Golgi apparatus is what you see here. Again, you see little vesicles shown coming off of the Golgi apparatus. Um, lysosomes. One of the other differences, though, between the animal cell and the plant cell is that the plant cell has these chloroplasts that you see here. And again, they're just different views, just cut different ways, but all showing the same thing. These are the chloroplasts. That's what the plant cell uses for photosynthesis. So inside that chloroplast, you see your little stacks of thylakoid discs, so your little grana that you have inside here. Uh, so again, the three major things that you see different in the plant cell, the cell wall, the central vacuole, and the chloroplast, the three things that you see in the plant cell that you did not see in the animal cell.